Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Reed, and today we're making some art. So, a few things I want to mention before I get into the meat of the video, which is of course this painting. Um, I'm sorry this video took so long to come out. It was supposed to come out a few weeks ago, but I'm not very skilled with gouache, um, and I, you know, a few complications came up. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But yeah. Uh, also, I'm sorry that the video shooting of this is a bit weird. Um, if you notice, this table is brown instead of my usual black table. It's because I was moved downstairs for a little while due to um, Wi-Fi and technical issues. So now I'm back upstairs. I've shot the last little bit of video upstairs, but I still need to get rid of work on camera angles and readjusting everything. So you're probably going to see a little bit of my legs throughout this video. I'm sorry about that, but you know. I'm just wearing like these cotton boxer things, like pyjama shorts or whatever. So, <laughs> sorry, I didn't even realise they were in shot until it was too late, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy watching my hairy thighs swivel around. <laughs> sorry, it's kind of awkward, but yeah. So today I'm working on uh, my Sailor Moon gouache piece. So I am using Reeves gouache here. Um, I'm not very skilled with gouache, watercolour is my best medium. Yeah, what I decided to do, because gouache is opaque, is I've done, I'm laying down all the base colours now. Then I've got a bit of baking paper, because I couldn't be bothered buying tracing paper. That I've done all the details on, and then I transferred them over, you'll see that in a bit. So right now, I'm not very good at hair, so I'm trying to work on giving the hair some dimension. But I end up covering this up later anyway, because it came out a bit too dark. Yeah, also I've made the shorts more of an orange than a yellow because I didn't want to clash with the hair too much. And I wanted to make the, some of the patterns on the shorts a yellow as well, so I figured it would be best if the shorts were orange. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to be working on the hair, just trying to add streaks and depth and colour. Because I'm not very good at hair, it just kind of looks, you know. Yeah, the hair is not my strong point. So here is when I realised my legs were in shot, and so I over adjusted the camera. But all I'm doing here is just adding a little bit of blue shading to the areas that would be in shadow. Because if you've seen any of my art before, you will know I like my blue shadows. This is another attempt at trying to fix it, but I just got more of my thighs in shot. So yeah, here I am sort of adding in more shading and stuff. Um, adding shading around the stomach and trying to define the hip bones. Uh, yeah, so here you'll see the parchment paper. So uh, I'm drawing over it with just some really soft pastels. Any kind of soft pastel, it really doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, mine are just some cheap ones that I got from art school my first year. Well, half year because that's problematic. But yeah, here I am doing her shirt. So you see me lining it up, drawing over it, and it's actually in the wrong place. I use my needle razor to erase it, and then I try again. Yeah, and then I get there, and then I get to start painting. Oh, this container looks so clean compared to how the they all look now. <laughs> yeah. So, just lots of mixing of colours. I tried to make more of a neon yellow, but it kind of just turned out, it looks kind of neon on camera, but really it just looks, it was too much of a lime green. So I just went for more of a pale, kind of more muted yellow. Um... Yeah, I because I only had the twelve set or something of the Reeves gouache, but oh no, not even the twelve. I think it's smaller than that. It's like the eight. So it's just like one row of gouache, but I have purchased the twenty four pack now. So I have a lot more. Yeah, here I am adding in the roses to her shirt. Um, yeah. So originally, because this is technically a draw this again kind of thing. I have drawn Sailor Moon earlier in this sketchbook, which you guys will see in a few days when I upload the sketchbook tour of this sketchbook that I'm working in. But yeah, um, in the original one I did give her a Sailor Scout outfit, but I just, I don't know, I decided against it for this one, and look, you guys can see my hair. Oh yeah, and here I am wearing pants, black pants, you can't really see my thighs anymore, because I figured that would probably be best, although it, it was summer where I filmed this, well, some of this. It's the winter now, so it's cooling down, but... Yeah, I couldn't always wear pants, because I just didn't want to suffocate while I was painting. 
So here I am, I'm painting in the bunnies and stars that she's got on her bed sheet, I think it is. Um, in the, um, series, not movie or book, um, actually I think there is a movie and it's probably a book, but yeah. So it's these pink bunnies to match her shirt and the yellow stars to match the moon on her shirt. Uh, yeah, because it was, I wanted to give it a pattern. And I kind of got this idea from Audra or Claire, she did a slightly similar kind of thing. I think she used different colours though, or, I don't know. I'm not very skilled with clothing by the way. Uh, if you've seen my art before, I hardly ever draw clothes. So I've been doing a lot of fabric studies throughout the term at art school this year. So yeah, my first term we did a lot of um, fabric studies. So I thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> Yeah, there was quite a few, I don't know, setbacks during this because I am not very good at doing clothes, I'm not very good with squash, I never really draw animals except for my cat and occasionally my dog, but that's kind of not really a stylized thing and I don't, you know, it's just, it's not, it's just slightly out of my comfort zone plus the big hair that's separated and all just one big chunk, yeah, so I really just wanted to push myself in this painting so I did yeah so I am starting to add in the tattoos uh, you won't really see them too much later because this is quite a light pencil and it's kind of hard to see on the drawing parts and paper you might just be able to see it I don't know it's kind of I can't really see it but this phone screen is hella cracked so yep Uh, so I added in a wand with the phrase fight like a girl which I <laughs> borrowed from Pinterest and then just some roses because she often has um, symbolisms with roses then on the other thigh I've got a cat I've got Luna's face with her moon and then on each side the other sailor's um, symbols but sailor moon's symbol is the cat's moon forehead because I thought that'd be a cute idea I can talk more about that later. Um, so yeah, I'm using these pens that I've had for ages but don't really like because they're not waterproof. And I'm using them for the tattoos and the heart, uh, not heart, sorry, roses. I actually go back and redo most of what I'm doing now but I thought I'd still, yeah, I kind of include it anyway. Even though I probably could cut it out because there were like, I think, over eight hours of footage. Yeah, so this, yeah. Took me a long time, so I kind of wanted to add in, you know, see what else I tried to do. I did actually keep the orangey lines kind of, although I did go over them with uh, darker gouache later. The only lines I really did keep were the light blue lines that I'm adding now for around her skin. I was really hesitant to use blue at first because, you know, her skin is not blue but the shading is, but I really like the way the blue looked. Ah, so here is a temp, I've actually had a few attempts at her face, as you can see the skin colour is kind of around the edges of her fringe, uh, because I've covered it up quite a few times. So yeah, here I am adding blush and shading to her legs and blush to the rest of her body as well, because I like me some blush, I think it's fun to add, and it really adds really lots of dimensions to the characters, but yeah. Yeah, adding on blush more and layers because, um, yeah, still really not used to gouache. Uh, it's kind of cringy to look back at this because I know it failed, but you know, whatever. It's nice to for you guys to see, I think, because it shows the you know, we all make mistakes sometimes and you guys can see what failed for me so you guys can do it better next time or something. I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling at this point because, uh, there's not really much I can say about this because I want to say the real description of when I finally did a face correctly. Yeah. If you can see, I've actually got two other things stuck on this page, which is my moon child and my avatar. Uh, as I said, it's just the last page of my sketchbook and I didn't know what to fill it with because I just kind of chucked those in there. Okay, so here I'm opening up some inks that I mixed up. I've gone over her roses uh, with gouache again to remove the lines. And yeah, now I'm just using ink. Yeah, and I've just pulled up a reference for the roses. 
because I didn't like the way I drew the roses earlier. It just kind of looked like a mosaic. And I really didn't like that look. And I love my dip pen. But it doesn't work very well on gouache, unfortunately. Um, it worked alright for these parts, but for the kicker it didn't work very well. Oh, yeah. I still, yeah, so at this part, I think I have, yeah, I've gone over her thighs and redone Luna's tail and also made her more of a real cat shape because it was really small before. But yeah, I decided to use the ink instead just because I felt like the pen was too even. What I love about dip pen is you can get line variation even with very small, thin lines. I love that. Gives it a much more natural look. But I really do struggle to get the you know, ink actually on there. You'll see my hair a lot. Yeah, more references. That's the same reference I believe I used for the top, so I could make them look kind of similar. I mean, I wanted it to look like a fit the theme. Or her theme, like you know, her aesthetic. I don't know if you've seen all the messages I got to. I think it was just Snapchat from my friend. Anyway, uh, just working on the roses. Uh, the top one by your hip. I'm not too keen of how that one came out, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really, yeah. I don't really like drawing roses anyway, because I don't like roses that much. I just think they're a bit cliche. Yeah, moving on to the sector thing. You can see I've had to go over it quite a few times for it to start showing up. <laughs> And I turned the page so I would just try, so I could get more of a straight line because I really struggle to draw straight lines, but I'm not a fan of uh, rulers, so yeah. And then here I am adding in fight like a girl, I'm pretty sure. Or just giving him more details. As I said, it's kind of hard for me to see. Um, I'm hoping it's a little more clear for you guys in full screen. But yeah. Does anyone love else that love like having their jersey like over their hand a bit? I love it, but I'm always scared I'm gonna get paint on my sleeve, which is why I love watercolour. Because you know, you don't really ever see sorry, I'm going off topic. But yeah, anyway. Then I come back to the tattoos later and add gouache to make them stand out more, especially because I felt like the cat and symbol one was just a wee bit empty, but I didn't want to add more roses behind it because I'd already done roses. So yeah, now here I am working on Luna, I'm just adding a mix of some pinks, uh, some purples and some blues, just to create more of a dynamic fur, because um, she, she is a very dark blue in the anime, so I tried to make her actually dark blue in the painting, but I also just wanted to add in some pink and fur texture, so I just used a fan brush cut off most of the fan so it was just a kind of small bit in the middle which is what I used the scissors for and then just went over with some colours oh yeah here I wanted to make it look like a real tattoo so I tried to add a wash of ink over the cat face to give it a little more dimension because I got this kind of idea from Jacqueline Dalyon she does a lot of tattoos similar to this and she adds a little bit of uh, wash over the, some of them to make them look more coloured in without fully colouring them. So here I'm just mixing up some pale pink wash to um, look like a kind of light wash over the cat's kettle face. Yeah. <laughs> it took a little while to get the right kind of lightness. And I used up a lot of white during this video. Yeah, um, yeah, so tattoos, just kind of working on that at the moment. Adding lots of pink, uh, I think I added the light pink to the rose leaf, so later on I go back and add it in with the dark pink. Because I started to use the middle dark spread up the top. It's kind of that purpley dark pink. It's a real pretty colour, and I used that to fill in some of the darker areas, so I felt like I needed a little more dark. Just using my pink pen to kind of draw in because I realised I missed the top of the ribbon on the Fight Like a Girl banner, so I just drew that in the foot with my pencil before I went in properly. And then I try to add a little bit of shading to the roses if I haven't already. Oh, okay, it's tipped forward a bit. Um, yeah. I'm working on adding blush to her knees and her hands again. 
Okay, there's also that painted over who it is before, so it's gonna be even more bluff. Plus, it's just fun adding bluff to things that really gives it more of a depth. Adding bluff to tops of the thighs and such. Putting it up because apparently I added too much. Uh, yeah. This is a watered down blue gouache that I made. She uses an ink, and I tried to use my favourite nib. But as you'll see in a minute, it just does not work because there's so much gouache laid on her face from all the mistakes I made that I just could not get it to go on. It just carved out some of the gouache. So I changed over to my very smallest brush, which is actually a nail art brush from eBay. And it's just wrapped in a Rolling Stones poster. Oh yeah, and here I made some swatches for my gouache, but I never really completed them. So this fine and gouache is really good because for her eyebrows I mixed up a kind of yellow ochre and a ready brown to make it kind of, I do the same thing later on but it's kind of a slightly darker brown than her hair but still not completely brown, it's still kind of blonde, I don't know, I'm not really going to describe any shades of brown because I find brown kind of boring, since my hair is not brown because I am naturally a brunette. As you can see from my avatar, the side shades of my hair that are quite a dark brown. And I do plan on dyeing my hair as soon as I haven't got around to it. So here I am trying to add the eyes in. And this face actually probably didn't look that bad. I just kind of over exaggerated and yeah, things got bad. But I think the face was a little bit too small and I'm happy with the final face anyway. Yeah, so I'm just going to... I'll let you guys watch this bit for a while. Just me messing around with it. Messing around some more. Sorry, I don't know what you want to say. Uh, adding in blush, I'm pretty sure, probably. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going to redo this face anyway. Because I had a bit of a crisis where I was like, this face is awful. And I must fix it. So you guys will see that in a minute. Right after I keep messing with it for like three more hours. Ugh, yeah. So this painting took me a lot longer than I expected. I wanted to have it done in two weeks. But it took me almost four. So yeah, that's why this video is so late. And I haven't posted anything in like forever. Um, I do plan on posting. I kind of want to do what Drawing With Waffles has done. And post some of my old sketchbooks leading up to my most new sketchbook <laughs> I don't know if I can wait that long to post this new sketchbook so I might just have to post old and new ones at the same time might be a little bit complicated though so here I am adding in Luna's face just using a little bit of reference because as I said I do not draw cats very often or from many angles at all so yeah I mixed up a brown for her eye because Luna does have brown eyes, not blue eyes. Artemis, she's an Artemis? The white one has. I'm terrible with names, oh my god. And I haven't watched the show in years. I'm messing with the face again, of course I am. Uh, just really sealing my fate. Yeah. Also, the date that you saw earlier, which is now covered with white gouache was actually the date that I completed my avatar because I had my avatar down because it's not stuck in the page it's just kind of blue tacked in at the moment so yeah that's what that date was for because I like the date of my work you'll see that in the sketchbook tour I actually go back and redo yeah I thought I should mention that in case someone actually read the date and was like whoa what that was like three months ago you mean you really lie you started that painting ages ago no I didn't I just wrote the date there and then moved the picture that I did finish on that date Yeah, here I am still messing with the face because I love my set, not really, but yeah. <laughs> uh, working on shadows and having lots of fun, not stressing out the less. Uh, yeah. I think at this point I was kind of okay, but like then I come back to it and I'm like, nope. Adding more blue outline to the nose. God, I left a lot of this footage is just messing with her face. I hurry I'm trying to draw her meatballs, but I've actually drawn them on the wrong angle because the angle I initially drew her face was like almost three quarters like or like almost the side profile. So that 
are also way too small for her head at this point. Also, her thighs are very bottom heavy. Um, it didn't look that way before I painted it, but now that I've painted it, it looks sort of that way. And then this was a kind of hot day. So I'm no longer wearing pants, but then I pull that down so you don't really see it anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. Anyway, yeah, back to the legs. Uh, I did try to kind of edit that bottom one, make it look a little bit thinner when I repainted over them. But it didn't change that much. I think they're kind of okay now that I've given, given her a slightly bigger head. But, it, yeah. I didn't use a reference from a real human being. I used a reference from someone's, like, you know those sketches that they do, like, here are some basic anime poses. Or just kind of general poses, like they're really helpful. I didn't use any of the, I used just free ones that people posted. Not the full, yeah, I didn't steal the full ones. But you can pay for the full ones to support someone on Patreon, which I think is a really good idea. And then here I hit one of the moments where I was like, oh, I just need to restart the face. And here I am adding shading to the clothing. So I apologise if this is kind of crap, because I've been focusing on fabric a little bit this term in live stream class, but not that much. Um, although, doing lots of studies of drawn people without clothes has helped me to know how clothes would lay on someone once they are now wearing clothes, if that makes any sense. Like, I know where indents and razors and shadows would be and stuff like that. So yeah, drawing the people is very valid. Oh, uh, here, as you can see, uh, what I did is I took my easel, I stuck a bit of paper over what I'd done, then on my easel, I drew the face upright so it was in line with me, so there was no perspective warping. Perspective warping is when, if you're sitting at a desk and you're lower than the desk or you're in line with the desk, and you're looking at something on a slight angle, you, like if you try and draw a circle like that, it'll end up being an oval because it's your perspective warping. But if it's wide enough in front of you, like parallel to your face, you'll be able to draw a semi, a, a almost circle. Like, you know, like no one can draw a real circle anyway, but yeah. Here I am, I've done the eyebrows, the eyes, and the lips, the base colours of them anyway. And I think at this point I've added in the nose and just that kind of pen I was using earlier. So here I'm doing the rims of her meatballs. And then I'll move on to doing the gems as well. So yeah, at this point the drawing's pretty much finished, just kind of adding the last details, like some highlights and shadows to her lips, which I'll do in a minute. The gems. Oh, adding in the eyes and the moon on the cat tattoo. Adding in more to the nose. Although I was not happy with that nose for a while, but yeah. And then adding in the mane, but um, because it was slightly wet, it did kind of pick up the gold beneath it. So I had to go over that part quite a few times. So I just kind of like, yeah, keep going over it again. Trying to wait for it to dry, but I'm really not being patient, so I use my heat gun. I'm going here for it again, and again, and making it a slightly lighter colour. I'm going over it again, trying to make it match the tattoo because I wanted to have a slightly darker colour up top as well, so that it didn't feel quite so bottom heavy. And I'm going with my Posca pen. Also, if you see me use that little clear pen, that's my express it. Um, it's like a, a spray bottle that in, in a pen that comes with a cap and it's really handy for watercolours and gouache and any other water based medium. Um, I did try showing it, to the, showing it to the camera but this video sped up like I think 16 times. So yeah. <laughs> and then here I'm filling in the background just kind of using a pink that I mixed up separately and a angled brush. To the outside just to kind of get you know, the most coverage really quick. Using more and kind of doing a tapered line um, just to give the it a little bit more interest rather than doing just a block of colour. And then here I am going with, a, with more of a rounded pointed brush to go around the details in smaller areas just to kind of get in all the details without affecting the shape of the drawing. I think I did leave a little bit of a brown edge around some of the places, but I, you know, I like the way gouache looks on brown paper anyway, so it doesn't bother me. Oh yeah, and here I am the next morning, finishing up um, the Santa Moon, and as you can see, there's a lot of natural light. 
Um, normally I prefer to work in winter where it is kind of a soft, even natural light, whereas here it was very harsh because it was quite early in the morning and the sun had just come up. But it's winter soon, so the lighting will get better. As you can see, this is kind of overexposed, but it was the best lighting I had. And yeah, she's adding more to the background with the little one. And here I'm going on adding in some messy hair details to give the hair a little bit more realism. Just kind of adding in some stray hairs and some hairs down the back of the bun. Because, you know, when you tie your hair up, you always miss some baby hairs. That's normal. And then just a few little hairs in the bun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'll see you guys in the outro. Bye. Anyway. Here is the final Sailor Moon piece. I hope you guys enjoy watching. I really enjoyed filming this video and painting it, even though there were some complications with the gouache. You know, it was kind of worth it in the end to get this really awesome drawing and painting out of it. And now that the sketchbook's actually finished, you guys will get a sketchbook tour. And I'm also planning on doing, I mentioned this earlier in the video, planning some uh, filming my old sketchbooks. Because I have a ton. I did upload a video ages ago. It was like 40 minutes long. Look at that hand. It looks kind of awkward, but finding a placement for the hand was really weird. It was hard to do. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to do some old sketchbook tours. I have so many. I even have some from when I used to design characters when I was about 14. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm trying to get some real, you know, aesthetic shots. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching. I hope to see you for the next video when I do a sketchbook tour. And for many future videos to come. I will leave my uh, social media links down the below. And take, don't forget to take paintbrushes out of your water. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Read out.